Okay, boys and girls. Um, I think I told you about this website. We've been talking about disabilities this month because to March is Disabilities Awareness Month. So if you want to learn something about Braille, this page, this website is a good one. It's put out by the American Printing House for the Blind. And it's at braillebug.org. And it teaches you something about Braille. Let's see. Then you can learn about Lewis Braille and Helen Keller as well. Games and messages. So you can see your name in Braille and learn some things. And learn about the Braille seal and how to read a little bit of Braille. How about that? Boys and girls, have you ever thought about water and where it comes from? Which types of water we drink and why? How would you feel if you had to go pump water or draw water from a well with a bucket? Now, when my parents were kids. Sometimes they said they had to do that. And I remember seeing an old dried up well pump. Um, it was a rusty well pump that my grandmother, before she got running water in the house said that she used to get water from um to do things around the house cook and and run her farm and feed the animals and things let's suppose that you had to do that to get water now here's what i want you to do before we start the lesson you can stop this one and go to let's see tinyearl.com i had to shorten the earl because Man, it was a long one. It's hard to remember. Tinyearl.com. How do wells work? Just look that up. I've already shortened it. It's a video, short video that's about a minute long on YouTube. And here's a well. Now, my grandmother's pump, she had a pump and she didn't. This one uses the bucket. You kind of see these on the old cartoons. You lower the bucket down and then you get water and you bring the the bucket back up okay so anyway go watch that that short video and then come back okay now hopefully in the video it short showed you sources of water where we get our water from you've learned that there are many different sources of water and what may be the best water to get for drinking because um, there are and many different people in many parts of the world have to get their water in different ways. So we're rather blessed most of the time to have our water system running that's supposed to keep everything nice and safe. Now, today's lesson about is about Jesus offering someone some water. Oh, let's see. Offering water someone with a different background some living water yes this is the story of the woman at the well first she was a woman and as we've talked about in some of our other lessons people didn't talk to women i mean men didn't talk to women just talking to them and plus this woman was a samaritan and they were sort of like mm, sort of enemies in a way with the Jews, and they didn't talk to each other that way. These are some kind of divisions that people make. They make up. They say, well, women aren't supposed to do this. And if God gives a woman a calling or a talent or a gift, why shouldn't she use it? We learned last week how important children are. And Jesus said that children are very important. So Who's to say that because you're a child, you can't do this and you can't do that if that gift was given to you by God? So these are all foreign or um, man-made divisions that we have to just not pay attention to sometimes. We have to listen to what Jesus said. So let's get on with our story. All right. Boys and girls, our lesson is called Different But the Same. It's the lesson for March the 19th, 2023. We're in spring lesson number three. All right. 
and M O G and I are here, and you are in Miss Kathy's class, and we are so glad to see you. Today's lesson is from John, the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 26. John, of course, is in the New Testament. Yes, that's the name of a disciple, so it's in the New Testament. The key verse says, Jesus said, A time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. John, the fourth chapter and the 23rd verse is where the key verse is from today. Now bow your head and close your eyes. It's time for prayer time. Father God, Thank you for the messages in your word. We are grateful that all of us are important to you. No matter if we are men, women, or children, or if we're one color or another, or born in this place or that, we ask that you keep our minds on you rather than the, the divisions that people have made. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. From the source, we're going to go through from the source. John, the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 26. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where do you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, Go, call your, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands, and the man you have now is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, Believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and now has come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshippers must worship in the spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I the one speaking to you. I am he. Remember our key verse is Jesus said, a time is coming 
and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. From John, the fourth chapter and the 23rd verse. Are you memorizing some of these verses? I would love to see a recording of you saying some of them, okay? Or the uh, the books of the Bible. Yes, we said that a long time ago. Different, but the same is the name of the lesson. A Samaritan woman came to the well to draw water. And we talked about wells, okay? This one was made a long time ago. Drawing water doesn't mean that she takes a pencil and paper. That means that she gets the water from well, probably with a bucket to drop down, uh, like we saw on the the picture of the well, but not so, not exactly like that. Okay, so Jesus came to her and he said, "Please give me a drink." And the woman said, "You are a Jew. We are different." Jews do not talk to Samaritans. Oh, and I told you earlier that you didn't talk to a woman, just walk up on her either and talk, start talking to her. And she didn't start talking to men either. Jesus answered, if you knew the gift God has for you, who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. The woman asked, where can I get this living water? Jesus answered, this water leaves you thirsty, but the water I give does not. The woman said, give me this water. He told her, call your husband. I have no husband, she said. And Jesus replied, you are right. She replied, you, you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain. You Jews say that we must worship in Jerusalem. Jesus replied, A time is coming when you will worship the Father in neither place. A time is coming and has now come true. Come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. The woman said, The Messiah is coming. He will explain everything. Then Jesus said, I am he. Questions. What did the Samaritan woman tell Jesus when he asked her for a drink? The woman said, you are a Jew. I am a Samaritan. Jews do not talk to Samaritans. What did Jesus tell the woman? Jesus said, if you knew the gift God has for you, who are you speaking to? You would ask me and I would give you living water. What did the woman discover about Jesus? She discovered that the Messiah she was hoping was coming. Jesus was that my Messiah. Contemporary Story and Ruby's Lab Available to all The Contemporary Story for March 19, 2023 Each Saturday, the robotics club and cheer team practiced at the same time in the gym. It was always hot in the gym and in the gym classrooms. Each Saturday, when Coach Gracie arrived, she would bring a cooler of water for the cheer team. Today, when Coach Gracie came, she had a cooler that was so big it couldn't be carried, so it had wheels. During a break, Casey asked. Coach Gracie, why do you have this note on the cooler? Well, Casey, I know it's hot in the gym. Sometimes the water fountain doesn't work. I wanted to ensure we had enough water for everyone. Does that mean that the robotics club can also have water? Water is good for us, and I know we need it. So I wanted to ensure that everyone here had all they needed. So, it's available to all who come in. What was different about the cooler that Coach Gracie brought? The cooler was very large. 
What did Casey notice during the break? She noticed that there was a note on the cooler that read, available to all. What did Coach Gracie say about the note on the cooler? Coach Gracie wanted to make water available to everyone who needed it. The end. If you'd like to volunteer to be a voice actor for a future contemporary story cartoon, get your parents' permission to email for details at misscathysclass at mail.com. Exploring the story in Ruby's lab. Hello, everyone. Today's lesson explores the story of the conversation that Jesus had with the Samaritan woman at the well. Though they were from different backgrounds, Jesus did not exclude the Samaritan woman based on that. Even though she had come to draw water, Jesus offered her living water. Jesus was offering the love of God and eternal life to the woman. Jesus wanted to fill her thirst in a new way. Here's your assignment. Has there ever been a time when you were not satisfied no matter what you drank? Did drinking water help you? Share your answers. You can write to me at P.O. Box 74514 Baton Rouge, Louisiana 70874 Or you can do, you can do, you can do, you can do what they do when they write me in my favorite way. Write to email rubyredpanda at mail.com That's rubyredpanda All right, this exercise is what's the word? We're going to review today's Bible story by answering these questions. We're going to choose the correct word that completes the sentence. We're going to circle those words because you see in parentheses, there are two words. And we're going to pick the right ones to complete the sentence. Like number one reads, a Samaritan woman came to draw water or berries from the well. What did she draw from the well? Water. Number two, Jesus said, please give me a give me a drink or food. A drink or food. A drink. Number three. The woman said, You are a Jew or Roman. I am a Samaritan. How can you ask this? Is it Jew or Roman? Jew, number four. The woman said or Jesus said, where can I get this living water? The woman said, number five. A time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father and the Spirit and in Truth or imagination with goals in the blank? Truth. And number six, the woman said, the Messiah or the priest is coming. He will explain everything. Then Jesus said, I am he, Messiah or priest? Messiah. Now the next lesson you can send to me, take a picture of it. Or send your answers on another sheet of paper. The Bible story sentences. What it means to me. You're going to write sentences about what you learned in today's lesson. Using the words below. Number one, Samaritan woman. Number two, Jesus. Number three, water. Number four, worship. Number five, spirit. And to number six, truth. Write sentences about what you learned in today's lesson using these words. 
and send it to me at misscathysclass at mail.com. If you should do it on a sheet of paper that you would like to send to me, you can use the address, the post office box at P.O. Box 74514, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70874. Lesson review from John, the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 26. The key verse, once again, is Jesus said, a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. John, fourth chapter, 23rd verse. Here's the review. The Samaritans were descendants of intermarriages that occurred between Jews and Gentile foreigners after the Assyrian conquest. There was a war, okay? The pure Jews did not want to have any dealings with the Samaritans. They said that they were, called them names like half-breeds, said that they were not the true chosen people. So they had a lot of arguments. Number two, the Samaritan woman emphasized Jesus and her commonality. That means the things that they had in common, uh, that ways that they were alike. When she spoke of our ancestor Jacob, oh, because that's when the split came, okay? Rem oh, do you remember what lesson that was in about Jacob and his brother that we talked about? Okay. And number three, Jesus offered the woman living water. Living water also appears in John, the seventh chapter, and verse 38. And in Revelation, the seventh chapter, verse 17, the 21st chapter, verses 1 and 17. All right, boys and girls. So we'll see you next week. Ah, oh, the Lord willing. So remember this, though. You can turn in your artwork, submit your artwork to me. You can be in a cartoon, and you can submit that to Miss Kathy's class at mail.com. Mail. You can send mail through uh, the U.S. Post Office to P.O. Box 74514, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, of course, Ruby has her own email address. And MOG was a little bit miffed with me because I left out his email last time. And it's mog at mail.com. It's M E M, spelled E M, then O, like the letter O, then G E E at mail.com. Okay, are you satisfied? Are you satisfied, MOG? Okay, so we'll see you next week. And remember, Remember, if you're watching us on YouTube, hit like and subscribe. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.